This is Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures coming to you from the floor of the CME here in Chicago with your grain market update. Uh, we saw a lot of pressure come into the market specifically for corn yesterday. We got that bin busting number 181.3, a much bigger yield than what a lot of traders were expecting. We saw the flush lower, but managed to hold that psychologically 350 uh, level. Now we're testing that and dip below that a little bit. If we can close this week above 350, I think that might present a little bit of a silver line if we see consecutive closes below here, the next level that we're looking at on the continuous chart, because we're in uncharted territory, 336 to 339. So this 350 level going to be huge to wrap up the week. If we're able to maintain price action above here, potentially that spurs a little bit of short covering to start next week. But we're just going to have to wait and see how things play out. So fairly neutral here on the corn market as we're lingering at contract lows. Now moving over to the soybean market, we're a little bit more optimistic for the first time in what seems like a lifetime. Um, we saw yields come in basically in line with expectations, production uh, carry out basically neutral. So what we're looking at is how we started the week. We saw an immense amount of pressure come in Monday and Tuesday with the expectations we were going to see an ultra bearish USDA report. So that bearish news was priced into the market. Now that we got a fairly neutral report, I think that leads to a friendly price action. So I think there's opportunity here to the near term so long as we don't finish the week below 820. Ace in the hole and the kicker continues to be U.S. and China trade relations. We saw yesterday that the U.S. wants to continue talks with China. There's nothing set in stone in terms of a date, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a date for a meeting sometime in the next one to two weeks. This will inevitably provide a short covering relief rally. And for these reasons, I think there's opportunity here in the very, very near term to soybeans. And when I say near term, I'm talking one to two weeks. I'm not getting married to this trade, but like a little bit of a relief pop here. Now, wrapping things up with the wheat market, wheat has been under a lot of pressure, something that we've been overwhelmingly bearish on over the past month, we've broken down below psychologically significant support at $5, but there's a heck of a lot of support down near 490 to 495. This represents the July lows and the original breakout point from back in January. Also getting a little oversold. So shorts, reduce your exposure. If you want to be long this market, there is opportunity down at these levels as far as risk reward goes. If we're able to kind of hold that support, get back out above five bucks to wrap up the week, I think there's an opportunity here to take 15 to 20 cents out of the market. So that's what we're looking at to wrap up the week. That's what you should be looking at too. It's been Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures from the floor of the CME.